Cisco, Intel, NVIDIA, the AI chip wars just keep heating up. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. It has once again been a busy week in the world of AI chips. There was a big event this week called the Computex Trade Show. You probably have seen this already iconic image of NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang signing a woman's chest. And Bloomberg summed up the event saying NVIDIA's pitch in AI chips holds echoes of Apple and iPhones. Here's how they summed up the presentation. NVIDIA's proposition to the world, sign up with us and you'll get the best hardware, software, and services you need to train AI models. We'll build an ecosystem of developers and give them the best tools to make apps. We'll upgrade the key components once a year. It'll be pricey and you'll sacrifice much compatibility with our rivals, but you won't have to sweat any of the details. Set against that is basically everyone else who sells chips for a living. AMD CEO Lisa Su put forth this case in the opening keynote, adopt the open standards we're promoting and you won't be tied down to us. We'll let you plug and play tech from all providers, craft your own apps, and customize your hardware mix as you see fit. Now, another interesting thing from this event is that while there was a lot of discussion around AI chips for laptops and smartphones, as Bloomberg writes, from conversations with industry observers and executives in Taipei, it's obvious that the data center is where the highest margin business is, and NVIDIA's lead there, as of now, is insurmountable. That, however, isn't stopping people from trying. Bloomberg writes, Intel CEO takes aim at NVIDIA in fight for AI chip dominance. Intel showed its new Xeon 6 data center processors with more efficient cores that will allow operators to cut down the space required for a given task to a third of prior generation hardware. Like rivals, Intel touted benchmarks that showed its new silicon is significantly better than its existing options. While Intel is not giving up without a fight, so far the market is unconvinced. Another legacy infrastructure provider, Cisco, also announced a new AI initiative, this time a billion-dollar investment fund. This announcement came at the Cisco Live conference in Las Vegas, and in addition to investing in companies like Mistral, Scale, and Cohere, Cisco, quote, plans to team up with these companies, which may mean using their technology in its own lineup and helping sell the services to corporate clients and government agencies. Said Chief Strategy Officer Mark Patterson, AI is reshaping every industry across the globe at an unprecedented pace. Some of the investments that we're going to make will be followed by some partnership agreements. A big funding round that was in the news around this was, in fact, from Cohere. The company has raised a fresh $450 million, which comes from returning investors including NVIDIA and Salesforce, as well as new investors like Cisco. Reuters writes, this concludes the first tranche of Cohere's months-long fundraising efforts and marks a jump in valuation from its last private raise when it was valued at $2.2 billion to now with a valuation near $5 billion. Another big raise in Gen AI comes from Pika. The Washington Post reports that the company has raised $80 million for its video generation software. The Post points out that although a lot of the buzz in the video generation space has belonged to OpenAI Sora and Google's more recently announced VO, those tools aren't currently available yet, while competitors Pika and Runway are. This new round values Pika at $470 million. And the question will be whether this is enough of a war chest to compete with much better funded competitors. It's not just the startups in the world that are competing for resources in AI. According to emails obtained by CNBC, Elon Musk has ordered thousands of NVIDIA-made H100s to be diverted from Tesla to X and XAI. Writes The Verge, Tesla is supposed to be stocking up on NVIDIA's H100 AI chips in order to power its transformation into a leader in AI and robotics. But emails by NVIDIA employees obtained by CNBC suggest that Musk is exaggerating the purpose of AI chips for Tesla. Instead, many of those processors are now en route to X and primarily its AI subsidiary XAI. After CNBC published the story, Musk said on Twitter, Tesla has no place to send the NVIDIA chips to turn them on, so they would have just sat in a warehouse. The south extension of Giga Texas is almost complete. This will house 50K H100s for full self-driving training. Ultimately, of course, the question is whether investors get nervous and see this as an example of Elon's frayed attention. But for that, we're just going to have to wait and see. For now, that is going to do it for the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. Up next, the main episode.